Today I'm talking about the easiest way to swing a golf club on a single plane to give you the fastest improvement possible so that you can get out and enjoy the game. I've wasted far too much of my time in my life trying to copy the swing of other golfers and a lot of instructors would tell me you need to exactly copy Tiger's swing and before that it was Jack Nicklaus or Ben Hogan. Uh, then I was on Mo Norman, uh, tried that for many years and it was like the holy grail because Mo was so great in the exhibitions that I saw and I got to film him and learn a lot from him over the years and I saw thousands of people try to copy his golf swing and with no success as far as copying him or duplicating his success that he had uh, with his swing where I saw him hit shot after shot uh, of course it was on the driving range but he hit shot after shot perfect and it took me a lot of years to realize that if we're using somebody as a model it it's just virtually impossible it'd be the same as trying to force everybody to wear the same shoe size it's just not going to happen and the reasons are fairly simple but i'm going to talk about them today in this video and share with you the easiest way to improve at the game quickly using the concept of swinging a golf club on one single plane so as we get into it um, i'm going to go through a few points that i think are really uh, important and what i found over the years the number one point being that when we're trying to uh, swing a golf club, if an instructor tells you that you have to hold the club exactly like somebody else did, uh, let's say in this case, the back of the hand to the target, you need to run as fast as you can, get out of there and don't come back because it's going to take you years in most cases to even get used to a grip like that uh, if it's different than how you've been holding it and who has so much time to maybe improve somewhere down the road. I know when I make a change to my swing, my goal is to hit the ball better the next shot. And if we use the right grip for us, and that depends on what you've experienced in your lifetime. So if you held the club like this, a very strong position your whole life, uh, and you learn to move and you learn to square the face somewhat, uh, switching to here means you're going to have to learn completely new swing mechanics. Now this is great for the golf school you're going to or the pro because you're going to need hundreds of lessons. You'll probably have to go to 10 golf schools and even then you're going to still struggle with improving at the game. Um, instead, if we match up the grip to your impact position, we can actually make little minor adjustments that will get you on track to playing better golf right away. Uh, using a launch monitor is helpful to identify what the club face is doing through impact, as well as looking at video to see, are we getting the hands leading, which is the most important part of any golf swing. So from there, once we get set up uh, with the golf club on the same plane as our trailing arm, all we're gonna have to do is learn to take the club back on a single plane and back down on that same single plane uh, down and through and we're going to have a perfect path with the club face being square because of how we put our hands on it we're not going to have to worry also about unnatural motion i know a lot of you have tried in the past as did i uh, keeping the feet flat on the ground through the swing probably the biggest mistake i ever made uh, in golf is getting rid of this natural movement which i would use if i was throwing something if I was shooting a basketball, hitting a baseball, I would never think about keeping my feet flat on the ground or keeping my knees bent through the shot, uh, which in my opinion is only gonna lead to injury, uh, shorter shots and less accurate golf shots. If you hear somebody tell you, hey, you need to work on this, we need to work on all kinds of positions to exactly match how Ben Hogan or Tiger or John Rahm or Mo Norman how they move the golf club, just run. It's just not worth the time. Uh, and hopefully they're gonna be truthful with you and tell you it's gonna take six months to a year. Uh, and there's no guarantee. They're not gonna give you a guarantee. Hey, I'll give you the money back. And it's not even the money. What about the time wasted uh, not playing golf? Uh, and for what? I've, I've seen people work on, on trying to copy another swing for years and they play worse and worse and worse and worse and struggle 
and they think all the time it's them that they're not good enough to match the model when in fact we need to find using some simple fundamentals we need to find the way to improve immediately if you're working with my setup for impact system I expect you to improve very quickly if you're not we need to make adjustments and that's part of my membership program allows you to send in videos so that I can guide you to making simple adjustments so that you hit the ball better very quickly and in virtually all cases especially in my golf schools people improve very very quickly and I tell people in the schools we need to improve now we're not here to try to improve six months down the road we're going to improve today and that's why you're the model you need to, to be the model every golf swing is different and you need to be the model and you need to learn to move the golf club very simply with the grip leading through impact with the club face square so we hit the ball in the center of the club face i teach you how to do that and set up for impact.com uh, visit my website subscribe here on my channel uh, and get notified as new videos come out i'm going to have a lot of great new content that's going to help guide you along the way thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day